Good day guys, it's the Demon78 here again. I got a hilarious story to tell you guys today when I'm fishing. Hang on, just gotta get to the spot. It's going somewhere, yeah. Let's fish here. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, yes, you read the title correctly, the day I got chased by a kangaroo. Uh, if you've ever been to Australia and you've seen a kangaroo, they're crazy, they jump, they, they're fucking crazy. Alright, let's start the story off, okay? I was about 12 years old, and I don't know, it was a boiling hot day, and my mate rung up and he's like, Hey man, you wanna come to the beach? And I was like, oh, fuck yeah, sure. And my friend's like, a nature boy, like, likes playing with nature and shit like that. But anyway, so we're at the beach, and we found like this walkway through the bush and we're like oh fuck yeah and like now thinking about it i'm a total idiot but we're looking at the ground and we saw footprints like kangaroo footprints and the, the marks where their tails been and we're like oh there's kangaroos around here uh, and my friend was like, let's go try and check it out. And I was like, all right, all right, fine, let's go check this out. So we walk around the corner, and you shouldn't have seen my expression on my face. I wish that was recorded. You would have laughed your ass off. Okay. What happened was, just image a fat kid. That's me. I was a fat kid, and I was looking at the ground, and I slowly look up, and there's about eight male kangaroos, like, double the size of me, just in front of us. And I was like, holy fuck, I didn't know what to do. And, um, don't fish there, you son of a bitch. Don't fish there, I said. There we go. Uh, so, I was freaking out. I didn't move. Like, you get that scared where you don't, you freeze, you don't move. That was me. Just a fat kid to stand there in front of eight kangaroos. Uh, my mate whispered really really quietly walk back slowly and i'm like oh yeah well he's into nature and shit he's probably seen a documentary of this or something like that and i was like all right all right fine we slowly walk back slowly i'm like tiptoeing slowly because like i've seen documentaries where kangaroos are like ripped like fucking meat out of bodies like they when they feel threatened they they're like machines they're crazy as all right so we moved back to the corner bit where we saw the footprints and i was like oh like i'm starting to breathe again i'm starting moving and shit and my mate being the biggest dumbass i've ever known in my life picks up a stick and decides to peg it at him that is fucked up frag what the fuck that is fucked up. It hits the fucking male. The biggest fucking kangaroo there. Like the pack leader. It hit him in the side of the face. And my mate was skinnier than me. He was faster than me. So I was just thinking life or death. And I've never ran so fast in my life. Like it would have been hilarious to sit there. Just looking at the ocean. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And just seeing this fat kid just legging it out of the bush. It was hilarious. <coughs> the crazy part about it. We went back there to. We didn't go all the way back there because there was a huge group of them. We would have got killed. So we went back a little bit because I swear to God, I I felt like there was a kangaroo right behind me. And my mate's like, No, no, you're running fast enough. You're all good. We look at my footprints. There was like, say a footprint, and just behind it, like centimeters away from that footprint, is a kangaroo footprint and a tail footprint. I almost almost got attacked by a kangaroo it was fucked and all i got to say to that is blake fuck you